What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to give you another Xbox 360 repair tutorial and I'll be showing you how to replace your laser. Um, I've already gotten to this point. Uh, it's pretty pointless to try to go through and open it all too. It wastes a lot of time. So if you're not sure how to get here, uh, check out my other tutorials. I do have a tutorial how to open the Xbox 360 drive. Um, for this, all we're really going to need is a little uh, jewelry screwdriver or electronic screwdriver, Phillips head. Um, and that's really all we'll need tool-wise. Um, so let's get started here. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to take out the uh, four screws around the outside of this case. Just like this. <clears throat> All right. Uh, sometimes there will be a little warranty seal right here. So if you if you, uh, you haven't ever opened it, you will have to kind of pop that off. It doesn't take much force though. It pops pretty easy. And then uh, we'll just take this bottom piece off. Um, then we're going to take this top piece off. I'm just going to kind of slide that out. Oop, still had a disc out. Alrighty. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this tray to pop out so that we can get in here to the arm and stuff like that. Um, so to do that, what we're going to need to do is, there's a little piece of uh, plastic right here. All you got to do is you got to take your screwdriver and push that in. And as you can see, that kind of uh, popped this out for us. Um, you can take the dish tray out, but uh, I wouldn't really recommend it. You don't really need to. It's just uh, going to take you an extra step. So uh, what we'll do now is we're going to take this uh, laser arm off and that's removed just by this one screw right here. Well, my uh, screwdriver is too big. I'm going to need my smaller one. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me get out my other screwdrivers here. Sorry about that. I thought I could do it with all my, uh, thought I could do them all with my bigger one. Okay. So we just got to take out this one screw. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and, uh, the laser ribbon, uh, what we'll do with the laser ribbon is we'll leave it connected to the, uh, DVD drive PCB. Uh, but we'll remove it from the laser. And that will also help too when you put the new laser back in because um, you uh, won't get confused on how it has to go back in there. And to pop that out, all you have to do, there's like a little lock here. You just kind of pull that little lock out and then this laser uh, ribbon will just slide right out. <coughs> Alright, next we've got a clamp right here, a clamp here, a clamp here, and a clamp here. Um, the clamp, the clamps on the bar that only has uh, the smaller side of the laser attached to, you don't have to remove that one um, because it's not fully attached, so that'll slide out. So all we have to do is take off these two clamps right here. So we're going to remove these two screws, on the, one on each clamp. Now be careful with it that you don't pop the screw out and end up losing it. Because <coughs> if you lose that screw, it could cause you some problems. These are important, very important to the working parts of it. Now what we're going to do is we want to try to get that laser slid back as far as we can. And if you need to, uh, close it back up and then slide it back. And then go ahead and... Uh, take this and pop this back open. <coughs> just like that. Now it's going to be real easy to pull this bar out. You just got to pop one side out and then pull it out like that. And there's your laser out of it. 
clean that off any little dust that definitely doesn't hurt so we'll uh, take that bar out now set it aside now I've already went ahead and done this part um, so I wouldn't have to go through all the soldering here on video but with new lasers um, typically not all the time there's going to be a anti-static solder joint and what uh, I'll show you what it is that way you know what you need to do first um, that's going to be right here where the tip of my screwdriver is and what that is as you can see hopefully you can see with mine there's actually three individual solder places um, but with a new laser it's going to be all bridged together into just one big solder bubble and so what you want to do is desolder that so that it is back to similar how this one is with the uh, three individual non-bridged solder joints um, you don't want to remove all the solder, you just want to make sure that the, the three places are not bridged together. Um, and that's all you're going to have to do to um, get that fixed up. Alright, so let's get the new laser here. And uh, get ready to basically just reverse our steps here. Um, first we're going to take the bar and we're going to slide that back in there. Just like that. Now. First, we'll slide this end in first, and on this part, you gotta uh, you gotta attach this end while you're sticking this part in. So, just like that, and see it's kind of in there now, and then you're just gonna pop that in there. That way, everything is attached, and you're good to go on that. Now we're gonna put our clamps, our little clamps, back on that hold the bar in there. This can be a little bit tricky just to get it all in the right place and to get the screw down in there. So it may take you a few tries to get it set up just right, but that's alright, it's no big deal. Just be careful not to lose that screw. It may even be better to just uh, put the clamp in first and then come back with the uh, screw and put it in there. that one. And just make sure that while you did that that everything stayed attached here and nothing fell out. That way you can save yourself a little work from having to go back and do it all over again. Or at least that part anyways. the second one back in there are little holes by the way so uh, you can't really put it in but one way I mean I guess you could kind of wedge it in there to where it's not in there correctly but for the most part it's really not going to fit unless you've got it in there the correct way so don't you don't have to worry about that so awful much dust out here. This thing's dirty. No wonder I wouldn't read games. <coughs> Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reattach the laser ribbon. Just put it... That's, this is why we didn't take it out of that end because it's pretty obvious how it clips back in there. So you just get it in there and uh, uh, put that lock... close that lock back up on it. Alright. Now we're going to get our laser arm and we're going to reattach that. Now you do need to be careful with this. Do not over tighten it because if you do you're going to strip the hole out on the laser and subsequently is going to make the laser useless. So all you want to do is just kind of snug it up and that's it. Do not over tighten it because you will be very very sad later. Alright and that is it for the laser replacement. Um, close it back up and make sure it goes back on. It should have a little bit of a, a feedback on it, kind of like it's not just sliding freely because it is attached to that motor. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, you'll need to go back and uh, get the outer case back on. Uh, 
but I'm not going to go through all that. That's pretty self-explanatory. So anyways, I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you. Um, if you like, you could like the video, uh, and even better yet, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of repair tutorials, a lot of case modding stuff. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, and we have a lot of fun over on my channel. So uh, anyways, guys, until next time.